Lovely performance there by Golding Star. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now we have to head over to the couch here with me is Tola Olatunji. He's a Nigerian-born film director, producer, and screenwriter. He has written, produced, and directed several feature short films and TV series that have been featured on different streaming platforms. Um, so we have quite a number of them. And of course, um, Tola's movies have received widespread acclaim and commercial success. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks How for are you me. doing? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. I mean, you alone, director, producer, screenwriter. Uh, uh, so many hats you're wearing there. Talk to us about, you know, what stands out the most for you amongst all of these roles, um, all of these hats that you wear. Um, by most part, I again, I, I call myself a storyteller. Okay. Uh, but I usually focus on directing, which is basically who holds most of the weight of the story and mm. the outcome. So that's that's really my focus. Directing. That's cool. Um, how long have you been directing now for? For too long. Um, okay. 15 years thereabouts. Okay. Yes, um, directors, quite a number of movies. Wow, 15 years, that's quite a long time. Yeah. Now let's talk about um, screenwriting. Okay. I mean, there's, you, there's usually that, um, there's, there has been conversations about who a scriptwriter is and who a screenwriter is. I mean, you are mostly a script screenwriter. Help us expandate on the roles that each of this, um, you know, each of these bodies play. I mean, as a script screenwriter and as a scriptwriter. So, the, the, from my little understanding, the demarcation is usually more on the writer and the screenplay. Okay. Because I think the script, the screenwriter and the scriptwriter is usually about the same thing. Okay. So, for example, the story is um, the overacting, the character build up, the plot, the how they want the movie to, the outcome of the movie is usually by the writer. Okay. Um, the screenplay is actually mostly the dialogue and the way it's being composed mm. in, in that, so for most part. Okay. There's also been conversations that a director is the one who makes an actor, an actor look good. The director is the one who brings out the best from an actor. So yes, the actor has his role that he plays in, you know, uh, interpreting the role, but the director is like the cherry on top in making sure that that role, you know, comes to go, that character comes, comes to, life. to life. Correct. What, do you, what would you like to say about that? Yeah, that's absolutely right, because the director, um, again, there's so many aspects to directing, because you're directing even at the script level, you're, mm. you're directing pre-production, production and post-production. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to the character, the being, bringing out the best in the character, definitely the, uh, the director plays a lot to that. Mm. Not taking away from the, um, the talent, but definitely without the director, you know, you, you could, you know, act in a certain completely different line, but mm. the director holds the vision and will tell you if you're exactly, because you're looking at so many aspects to it, right? Um, when the character comes in play, there's an end goal, right? It's not just that one scene, right? Okay. So you know what? I'm looking at Kenani. That's Kenani, right? That's showing. Correct. Yes. Talk to us about Kenani. I mean, I know it's currently showing right now in the cinema, and it talks about the Jackpot story. Correct. Um, it, it, I mean, that's the, the realities that a lot of Nigerians are living in right now. Correct. Everyone wants to jack. Bah. Everybody wants to take off. Yeah, everybody wants to take off. Now, talk to us about the story, the implementation, and the conceptualization, everything that went into, you know, um, the film Kenani. So Kenani is a story, is a love story, right, of two people that were compelled mm. to leave the shores of Nigeria, and they found themselves being sold into um, what we call modern-day slavery and um, human trafficking. Okay. Um, but the the end of it is really something everybody should know and mm. the, how they found themselves in that situation. So um, it's, I, I think it's an amazing movie that everybody needs to go out there and watch. Yeah, I mean, you're also, in, you're also part of, the, you're also one of the producers for Correct. this film. Correct. Um, were you also part of the casting for the movie? Because, I mean, you have Gabriela Folanyo, you have um, um, Ivie, right. Okujaye. I yes. mean, those are two strong, so very strong. actors. Yes. I mean, and they never fail to, you know, deliver. leave or deliver their roles. I mean, talk to us about the, the casting process for this 
characters for the for the movie so gabriel for most part has always been one of my favorite um talents um okay. regardless of whether it was for kinani so when the when the opportunity was presented to me to direct and all, of course the movie myself um when i was looking at who to pick it was definitely one of my top choice um evie very phenomenal as well because mm -hmm. she speaks the language which oh. so that was also a plus for her and um a lot of other things that I looked into. So yes, I was part of the um, casting. Okay. Now talk to us about some of the challenges that you have had to experience. Um, she's in Kinani was actually during the peak of COVID. <gasps> yes. Yeah, I know it's short, but oh, yes, wow. It was at the peak of COVID. Oh, so wow. um, okay. there was a lot of um, logistics things that we had to overcome, okay. um, which made us, you know, but we were, we were strong enough to overcome it. But now we're here, right? Did anybody catch COVID on set? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. But, you know, what I wanted to say also is, the, you know, more than the story itself, yeah. the, the, the movie itself has a lot of international stuff, mm -hmm. um, recognition to it. And we know that this whole Jackpot thing is a big thing yes, right now. Not just Jackpot, but mm -hmm. human trafficking yeah. and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. we're definitely looking for the support because we're trying to, it's, you know, it's not just about the blockbusters mm -hmm. or the... It's really about change, mm -hmm. right? And we will need every support mm. of, you know. Yeah, this is actually driving social change. And I am Correct. so here for it. I'm inspired, you know, by the movie. I mean, a friend of mine is also a producer on the show, Jennifer Myro. Kudos yes. to her. Yes. And, you know, congratulations to the yes. entire team. This is uh, phenomenal. Well Thank done. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely go see the movie, Kenani. And that's it right here for now. Uh, we have Bikia Graham Douglas coming right up. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back.